and good morning and welcome to part 4 of our Action Script tutorial. This is Abraham and uh, today we'll be creating our variables, variables and instance names. Currently we have 17 to 10 for the digits and in order to create our code more efficient we'll be creating an array of buttons. Through the array we'll be adding the listeners, we'll be identifying the buttons pressed. For this we must give instance names and for this we must, must make sure that the instance names they follow a pattern num3 underscore num4 underscore because through this we'll be able to see on code to check which button was pressed. Cweb.com currently has 7,000 visitors every month and it's growing. They come for the extensively documented code it's free. Uh, uh, they come to watch the tutorials. They come for the free newsletter. Yes, we don't collect private information. And we have sponsors. We learn the sponsors pay. And if you want something more, uh, on the right hand side we have eight books. And I bought several books to eight books. They go for one dollar, they go for two dollars and they deliver here. I am in Jerusalem in the Middle East. So if I see my traffic, they, they come from the States, they come from India, and they come from Pakistan. So if they deliver here, for sure they deliver at where you are. Uh, is a very easy investment. For two dollars you cannot go wrong. And worst case scenario, if you're not happy, just give the book away or even sell the profit, two dollars. You can't go wrong. So if you want to improve yourself, if you want to go ahead, I strongly recommend Abe Books. And if you buy through the site, you don't pay anything additional, and I get a commission. You support Cweb. The link is on the right hand side. Abe Books, you're welcome to do. It's something I do myself, and it's an easy investment. Time to move on. Let's create variables. Let's first start with array. Be a collection of items. Could be numbers. Could be Almost anything in our case is a collection of instance names representing the buttons on stage. Uh, we currently have 17 buttons, therefore we want to create our code more efficient. And the array will be useful when we do our loop, adding the listeners or checking the value that was pressed. And the code will have one handling the buttons, the digit buttons, and the other one handling the operators. Yes. Then we have our variables. Let's create. And the uh, several times um, I bought books, I read the content, and I sold the product. Google campaigns. I sold several Google campaigns with a book. Bought one two books. Read them. Went out. Business cards. Peddling them. And I sold a few. Um, my PHP. Yes, several PHP programs I created. I a few books. I, I read and went out peddling and scored clients. So education will, will be always the best investment. After all, I mean, if you're not happy, I mean just sell the book. A books, technical books, they are second hand and they deliver everywhere. One or two dollars, you can see tons of books. I did it myself have a philosophical principle of not selling something that I don't buy myself, yes. So I'm telling you guys that's a good investment. I'm telling you guys I've done it before and I can tell you guys that pays off. I did it with PHP, I did it with Google campaigns, I did it with several items that I sold. Buy the book, read the content and sell the product. A books, the link is on your right hand side and your support tutorials. At the end of the statement we have a semicolon telling the compiler you know what we're done here so we can move on to the next statement. If you don't have the semicolon at the end you already know a error message pops up. Double slashes, alright, slash and a asterisk to document the code. Uh, again, uh, all the code is posted on the website. People are invited, visitors come and they can copy, they can customize, they can change. If they want to understand, 
the means are there is documented and you can copy and you can change that's why there's so many documentation I don't have a problem taking my time explain so people can understand all right let's move on to the operation buttons minus plus it doesn't have to be on a specific order since we'll be uh, checking the name so um, let's create an array again array with a capital A as a reserve word comes blue equal at btn make sure that the instance name is identical to the instance name that shows on stage so otherwise we'll get an error message and believe me you get I got it a few times <laughs> extremely frustrating small details make huge differences so make sure that you have um, correct spelling on the instance names they have to be the same names even on stage this is to say the underscore btn enab enables code hinting yes through code hinting saves a lot of trouble on spelling and teaches because when the dot is pressed after the btn it shows all the properties all the methods possible for the given object so underscore btn underscore mc for movie clip underscore txt they give uh, they enable cold hinting and that's why we have right now um, that's why we placed it it's the name that we have okay let's move on to single variables people know math people know how to add subtract involves three characters the first character is number one and then you have the operator then we have the value number two and for this we'll be creating three values one for the operator it's not the button but is the string that tells uh, the compiler if we are multiplying if we're dividing and one will be number for the first value and number for the second value and we will show on the screen we are about to finish our tutorial and thank you guys that you send any questions suggestions and remarks I got a couple of emails today. Somebody said, you know what, the code is not working. I checked the code, it was working. And if you have questions, I'll be glad to answer them. If not, I'll make a tutorial about them. Uh, you're welcome to join. You're welcome to send. Thanks for watching my tutorial and see you on part five.